This is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. <clears throat> and I am a little late for my Monday color and chat, but here I am, better late than never. So, <clears throat> the book that I'm going to be coloring out of today is Calm, Color by Numbers by David Woodruff. And <clears throat> this book was suggested by a lovely subby back, back a while ago because, uh, well actually it was at the end of, uh, September because I was, I was part of the color by number, a uh, color along. And then the next month I was part of the spooky cute color along and I couldn't color out of any of my requested books because I was doing all my color alongs to fit the spooky cute theme. But now I'm back in November and I'm not doing anything for the rest of the year. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to be hosting any, any um, color alongs. So, back to the books that have been requested for me. And we're going to start off with the first one because it's a it's a good one to color, and with color by number books, I usually just start at the beginning and work my way through. It's just the way I do with it. So, I don't have my glasses. Oh, getting off to a good start here. Where are they? I just have them in my hand. Ah. There they are. Not far. But I did have to get off the chair. Okay. So, putting glasses on. And, let's get into this. I'm going to start with 12 which is sky blue. So I'm picking out my colors today and I guess I'll kind of show you how I do it while we're while we're doing this because I did promise that I would show how to pick colors. So I want sky blue and here's my suggested shade. So what I do is I take a look at how many blues there are and there are one, two, three, four blues. Pretty much all color by numbers, especially the big ones like this, will have your colors listed in color order. So, you know, all your pinks are together, all your greens are together, all your blues are together, and so on. So, I need to find f five blues, with the first one being light blue, and the last one being dark blue, and then I will let's see what we have. So I want to use my, I want to start using my Crayolas. Uh, I don't have my swatch book with me, but that's all right. I think that's teal. Okay, so I have two blues and basically they're mediums. So I'm going to get a light blue and this is my, if I take a look here, the dark blue is a navy. So I'm going to take a navy for my dark blue and I need one more to go in the middle. How about this one? Okay, so now I'm going to arrange these in order of lightest to the darkest and let's see what we've got. This is obviously going to be my lightest and I know this is going to be my darkest. Okay, now 
I haven't used these much, so I don't know the shades yet. Whoa, now that is pretty dark, eh? So put that down here. And then the next one, that's kind of a bright blue. So that one's going to go next to the dark blue. And this one is a bright blue. Now let's take a look at this. I have a feeling this is going to be very similar. Is this blue? Yeah, deep sea blue. Okay, um, there's not enough variation between these, between these two. I'm thinking I would like to see, see if I can get something a little different. Oh, there, that's much better. The reason that they're coming out scratchy like that is because I'm using, uh, quite a textured watercolor paper it was just sitting here all right so now this one is darker than that one it's lighter than that one so one two three, four, five. Okay, so those are going to be my five blues. So you notice I didn't really, I didn't try to match up the color because if, if your book has any kind of writing at the beginning, it will tell you that your palette is suggested colors and you cannot match a marker color to a printed um, computer generated color like that it's you know not not that hard to do I mean it's 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 harder to do in certain circumstances but with the blues it isn't really but as long as I've got the shade change that is happening here like my light blue and then uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. and then the next blue and then the medium blue is there and then the dark blue is here I think I missed something one two three there's four not five <laughs> what am I doing okay this one I'm taking out and that's the other dark one Oh no, I want to use my Crayolas. I'll take that out. There. Okay, good. So, which one is 12? That's going to be this one. And I'm just going to be writing in my colors because when I first start one of these books, I've got this one here. I write in my colors next to them. So this is 12 and it was they called it sky blue and mine is called blue skies blue. Blue skies. Okay. So I'm just going to write my other colors in. So for light I'm using ocean view. Medium, I am using Tenacious J. I'm going to need something else to write that with. I'm not writing down which brand these are because I know by the names of these ones. And the other one is called Invincible. Okay, so 12 is blue skies, one in my hand, and I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the fine one, not the ultra fine, that blue skies, yep, there we go. So, 
so it rained it not rained oh, I wish it rained it snowed last night oh you know what we need to zoom in so much desk room. Wish I had a remote control for this thing so I don't have to get up every time. I want it to zoom in and zoom out. So as I was saying it snowed last night and it felt like it was absolutely freezing in the house but when I looked up the temperature it was only minus two Celsius which isn't very cold and um, yeah it just basically snowed all day and covered our world with white but since it uh, wasn't so since it wasn't so cold the snow it has it has stayed some of it but it melted throughout the day as it was snowing so we've just kind of got the final the final bit of the snowfall. There's more snow on the roofs of the houses than there is on the ground. But this is early for us. Usually it hasn't snowed by Christmas and as the days get closer and closer to Christmas everybody's, you know, the, the, the topic of conversation around the town is, well, do you think it's gonna snow for Christmas? We gonna have a we gonna have a white Christmas this year? Because that's usually when we get our first snow. Is oh and just so you know I have a piece of cardstock behind me. The paper is pretty thin in these books, but it's very smooth. It only has a slight tooth. Um, yeah, so it's usually around Christmas. It, it, we don't always get a get a white Christmas. It's just as just as often a green Christmas as it is a white one. But if it doesn't snow for Christmas, it usually snows before the Christmas holiday is over, like the, the kids' school holiday. And they all go back to school on, the, on January 2nd. That's just kind of the way it's done. But I don't have any kiddos in school anymore. Well, not whatever you call the first 12 years of, or 13, I guess, kindergarten years of schooling. I don't have anybody in that. <clears throat> My youngest son, who is, um, who is at home with us and 19 graduated last last June from high school and um, he's autistic and uh, he went through um, you know at, at, at a level that he could accomplish in high school but they didn't do good right by him because every year 
well, he went into, he went into grade 9 with his grade 8 teacher telling me that he was at a grade 6 reading level. And every year I talk to them about what are we doing to get him to read. And, you know, we would, we would work something out and then he would, he would um, be called from class to go spend 30 minutes or whatever a day working on whatever we had decided. And his reading was not, was not um, improving at all. And it just went on year after year. And then when he was in grade 12, <clears throat> I said, well, he had, he had two classes in a spare in the morning and he had two, <clears throat> excuse me, and he had two classes in a spare in the afternoon. And I said, look, we have to get him to be reading. He wants to go to college. You know, he's not ready right now, but he will be and uh you know he has to be able to he has to be reading on a much higher level than than grade six and so they told me all about this whoa that is like <laughs> that is like shining bright blue on there trust me it's not that color what can i do Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Oh, I can't do that. No, nope, that's not what color it is either. I just wanted to give you a shot of what color it really was. Nope. Okay, well, sorry <laughs> for the fluorescent blue, but that is what it's coming with on the camera like oh my lamp won't sit right now okay back to it so they told me all about this wonderful new program that they had and that it was computer and it went at his pace and he just you know he could do that and it would take him as far as he could go on it and blah 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 and he started off the year doing that and by the time he came back after Christmas holiday he told me that it was like the program never got beyond first grade that it was just too easy for him and uh, you know I kept saying well you know you gotta you gotta put put the work in like work faster because if you're taking so long to answer the questions then it's thinking you're having a hard time answering it so work quickly so anyways part part way through the year he gave up on on doing it it just seemed like a waste of time and so I wanted them to do a reading level test on him so I knew what level he was at when he graduated. And remember he went into went into grade nine at a sixth grade level. Well, now he was at a fifth grade level. I was just so uh I can't tell you how disappointed I was. But anyways, he uh, now is going to adult, he's going to an adult learning school. And uh, they have two sessions, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And he's going in the morning session. And it's uh, work at your own pace. It's all based on paper, except for, oh no, it is. He gets these worksheets. He doesn't, not using the computer for anything. 
and um, you know she explained it to us I asked a lot of questions because I'm I'm well versed in, in the uh, phonics and grammar and the teaching of and uh, you know it sounded really good it sounded like they were going to go back to basics that he was going to learn spelling which they do not teach in school here anymore third grade is your last grade of spelling and then oh yeah and and it would be grammar and so that's what it is i, I asked him to, to bring home his his worksheets that he'd done so far because he keep, keeps them all in a binder and um, he had done a lot and um, he I, I looked at the material and it was really it was really strong and uh, soundly based so hopefully this will be what he needs so like not only is he learning how to learning how to read better but he's learning how to how to write because he can't he can't write at all he he used a he used a machine in high school a computer which he spoke into and it it wrote for him because he can't he can't use spell check because he gets the first two letters wrong of words if the first two letters are a consonant blend he can't tell what they are he hears it as one sound not two sounds put together and he just can't do it so the spell check or he gets if he does get the first part together he he mangles up the rest of it so badly spell check doesn't have a clue what he's trying to say so yeah I mean there's some points when you know you can use a reading aid or, or like a, you can use an aid like text to speech and whatever uh, to, to guide you like to help you do things that you're not capable of doing but you can't substitute it for learning I mean you have to have to like get in there and learn the basics and everything so I don't think there's going to be any more blue on here doesn't look like there's a blue flower and that's all there is so we'll stop with that one and now I guess we'll get to work on oh my goodness <laughs> You know, it's because it's late at night and the the light in this room is like really weird. Like you can see my shadows. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't. I just wish it wasn't. I can't do anything to it to make it not be neon. No, well, maybe putting in another color will help. Okay. So we've got 15 here. What is that? Yellow green. All right. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. We have a Crayola here. That is a yellow green. And it is called Everlasting Lime. Now that's not the... Is that the yellow green? Yep. I think. <laughs> okay, we'll use it anyways. Okay, so how where are we? There we go. So oh I guess I should write this down. Everlasting line. Do I have a pen here? No, I just have my markers. I 
Yeah, this actually matches the color on the side here. I just realized you can't see the side. That's all right. Okay. So, yeah, that took me a long time to tell you that he goes to, um, we were talking about school, I guess. And, uh, so yes, he goes to adult learning. In the mornings. And then he went to, um, went to the employment, the government employment agency here. And, um, they, he had like three different people working with him to see, you know, if they could get him a, get him into a part-time job. And they had him take a whole bunch of courses, you know, um, interview skills and um, resume writing. And then they had him go take a couple of certificates. You need to have a certificate to work with food here, so... He got that, he went for first aid, and it came down to that they didn't think he was ready to work at a job at this point. So they decided to have him volunteer so that, so that, um, he could get some experience in of working. Now he did do that in grade 11. He did a co-op where he went to school in the morning and he did his co-op in the afternoon. That was for one semester. And um, yeah, so Monday to Friday, he goes to adult learning in the mornings and Tuesday and Thursday he goes to the food bank to in the afternoons to volunteer get work experience <laughs> oh my colors are turning out <laughs> fluorescent oh my goodness this is bad light in here I'm almost thinking I won't put this up but Nope, I'm doing it, so I'm putting it up. <laughs> Almost didn't. Almost didn't get it put up. But by the time I'm done this and I do the computer work and upload it to YouTube, it should still be Monday. And I will count that as a success. But yeah, this snow, the cold, it just, oh, it just wreaks havoc with my body. It's in so much pain this morning. It's unreal. And it's taken me all day to get through it. Like even at this point, I am... Um, not so much in pain as in having everything ache. <clears throat> but enough about that. Okay, so I guess that was a bud. And we're kind of doing leaves here with this 15. So what I would like you to do is um, tell me some books you'd like to, or a book that you would like to see me color in. If you've seen my finished pages and my holes and such, you'll be able to garner from those what books I have. Halls are a good place because there's a chance I may not have worked in one of those yet. 
or you may not have seen the inside of it yourself and would like to see me give it a go. So, if you could do that, leave it in the comments what book you would like to see me color out of and I will do that for you. So, I'm going to finish up the 15. There's it's quite a bit of it here, so we're still going to be a little while. But I'm going to finish up 15, and then we will call it a, a night, or a day, <laughs> or a morning, <laughs> whenever you're watching this. Okay, so none in the flower. Oh dear, my sinuses are are bothering me. Oh. <clears throat> oh dear. So these are nice books. And um, they've got great pictures. You feel very accomplished when you finished one because you have a pretty, a pretty picture. And they're very realistic as well. But something I want to tell you is that um, just recently, over the last few months, and there's, and there's some upcoming ones too as well, some new books in this series, <clears throat> some new books in this series have been published or so it appears. They have different names and they have different covers so they look like a totally new book but I've been reading on the Amazon comments that they're not new books and on the title page it doesn't say illustrated. Go here. <clears throat> well you see here how it says David Woodruff, on the new books, it says compiled by David Woodruff. And what they've done is they've taken pictures from all the various books that they have and put them in a new book. So they're recycling the old images, taking a picture from a book here and one from another book there. So, you're just getting, if you already have some of these books, you're going to get duplicate material. And if you, if you buy the original books, you're just going to find that you've got the stuff in these new books that they're, that, that they're making. So don't mix the two is what I would advise. When you don't have any of these books, then fine. Go ahead and buy the new ones. But stick with the new ones. And you can tell, you can tell um, what the original books look like because they either have a circle like this and you can find them in American English, English English, and, <clears throat> and French. And the other cover for the original ones is like this. It's got a row of pencils. It says color by numbers in this oval thing 
and then the title of the book. So these are the two titles you want, these are the two covers you want to look for for the original books. If it doesn't have one of those covers, I can't guarantee what you're going to get. And you can tell what the new covers look like by clicking on one of the new books. It will say it was published in, in 2019. Whatever, whatever those covers look like is what the new ones look like. So, if you're going to buy those, I think either two or three have been published, and there's some more coming out. They also have large print editions coming out now, and those again recycle the images. They've just zoomed in on them, and... Uh, Well, actually, I don't know. I guess I was just kind of guessing that. But the uh, Amazon comments, again, say that they're recycled images. So they're doing it. I don't know if they're, like, zooming in on a picture or what makes more sense to me is that they divide them up differently into bigger spaces, but... That would actually take time, effort, and money, which they're obviously not willing to spend because they're just recycling images. But yeah, I want to be—I want you to be aware of that because I do highly recommend these books, but I don't want you to buy the new ones and be disappointed because you've got images already from them because that's the way they are. And it doesn't say, you know, people are getting the books and then finding out. I would just look for the... I would just look for the original ones. They're still for sale. They go in and out of being... of being in, in stock or out of print or whatever. But um, third-party sellers come along a lot and sell them, too. But every book I've bought has been a new one. And I've got, what, four now? And I, there weren't that many of them, of the original books. I think there's... Well, there's still quite a few that I don't have. So, you know, there might be like ten. But no more than that. There's flowers, enchanted land, landscape. Okay. This has taken me a while here to do the do the fifteens because I've only done the first flower here and I got another bud here. And I've got another another flower here. Looks like there's two flowers behind each other with all this is foliage with 15 in it. So, I am going to have to let you go. So, on Tuesday, you will get a flip. And on Wednesday, we will do something. Wednesday is my day to do whatever I want, so we'll see what I've got coming up. I might do some swatching because I still have a couple of things left to swatch. And I can't use them until I've swatched them. And I've got these, um, koh -Noor watercolors that I have to swatch, but I'm waning for the case. I don't like to. I don't like to swatch them until I have the case for them. So the other thing that I have is um, three boxes of Spectrum Noir markers. Those will be fun to do. And I can get them out, start using them. Okay.
Okie dokie. So there we go. I'm sorry that you have to have a fluorescent version of this, but I don't know. My hand isn't fluorescent. Uh, I guess the marker sort of is, but trust me, these are not fluorescent colors. You will um, see the finished image, uh, the finished blah, blah, blah. blah. You will see the finished picture with my uh, finished pages at the end of this month. Or, <clears throat> if you'd like to see it in a few days, um, join me on Instagram. I'm the same name there. And, uh, and yeah, I'll have the picture uploaded in a couple of days. I'll, I'll finish it, and then I'm always a couple of pictures behind. I like to uh, upload one picture a day, unless I'm, like, way behind, <laughs> then I'll upload more. But, uh, yeah, one picture a day, which always leaves me a couple of days behind what I've actually just finished coloring. So yeah, it'll be two or three days and this will be up. So uh, thank you for joining me and um, for allowing me to uh, to enter your home and uh, provide you with hopefully a little bit of entertainment and I hope that you were doing something while you were listening to me coloring coloring yourself or diamond painting or knitting or crocheting or whatever it is you do and um I have to stop saying um I've started doing that recently so that's it and don't forget to leave me some suggestions for books you'd like to see me color in so in the meantime until next time, bye-bye.